Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and I have 20 free Stadia tweaks compatible with iOS 11 up to iOS 11.1.2. So stay tuned, subscribe for more videos. A lot more are coming and I just want to tell you guys I have a lot of videos planned, tweaks, themes, everything else regarding this new jailbreak. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to not miss any of those. So let's get started. Next is Walmart. This is a pretty cool one. It will change the wallpaper of your device every time you unlock it. So what you need to do is go to the settings of this tweak. And if you go to general right here, you will have the enable button to enable or disable it. And if you go to Walmart, what you need to do here is enable it and then go to photo album. So you have lock screen and home screen. So you can choose the photo album for the lock screen and the home screen. So here I have set my camera roll. If you have other albums right there, it will show them right here. So you can see the wallpaper right now. If I lock my device and unlock it, you can see it will change the wallpaper and it does that every time you unlock your device. Volume percentage. This tweak will add a really nice touch to the volume hood. It will show you the exact percentage of the volume on your device. So you can see right there the percentage on the volume hood. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then you can set the precision right here, and then you have also different themes. So you can choose the normal with that percentage as you saw it right there. You can choose normal with large percentage or you can set the percentage only and remove the stock iOS volume hood. Simple LS iOS 10, this makes your lock screen look way different so you can see it will put the time and the date right there and you will have a nice clean lock screen here, it looks really awesome. If you jump to the settings of this tweak you will have an enable button, then you have here clock style, you can choose two different styles, you can show a weather widget but for some reason it doesn't show right now but anyways you can move up the notifications right here and if you go to more here you can change you can customize the font and you can change the time here to 24 hours or to 12 hours roman passcode this is a tweak for the lock screen passcode so what it does is that it will change the numbers on the keypad right here so when you want to unlock your device you would see numbers here from one to nine and then the zero of course but with this tweak installed, you won't see the no normal numbers, but you will see Roman numbers just like this. 5 Icon Dock 11. This is a simple one. It allows you to add another icon to the dock of your iOS 11 device. On stock iOS, you know we have 4 icons on the dock. With this tweak, you can get 5. To install it, you will need to add a repo, which you will find in the description of the video. Alkaline. This tweak allows us to customize the battery indicator on the status bar of your iOS 11 device. So under settings here, you enable the tweak and then you have three different themes that you can choose from. Delete Cut. This is a very useful tweak for the keyboard. It allows you to, to delete a complete word with just one tap on the back button. So you tap and hold the shift and then you tap the back button and you can see it will delete a complete word so normally it will delete it just letter by letter but by holding the shift key you just tap there and it completely delete the word no gut folder this tweak will add the android no gut folders to your ios 11 device so you can see here the icon will be circled you can see a preview of the icons right there they look pretty awesome so if you open the folder of course is the same one is the stock ios folder but this will affect only the icon of the folders Dismiss anywhere. This tweak will allow you to dismiss pop-ups anywhere just by tapping on the screen. So you can see here, if I want to delete that app, you can see it will remove the cancel button from the pop-up right here, but I can tap anywhere to dismiss that as easy as that. The, the tweak doesn't have any settings to configure. Unlock sound. This is a really cool one. It brings back the unlock sound to your device. So you can see right here, when I unlock my device, you can hear the sound, it's pretty amazing. So under setting to enable it right here, if you go to sounds, you have different sounds here to pick from. The first one will be the default sound that comes like pre-chosen with this tweak. So that will be enabled and you can choose any other one that you want. Blurry badge. This is a tweak for the badges. What it does is that it will colorize them based on the color 
of that app's icon. You can also add a border and also you can choose the amount of blur that you will add to that badge. So if you go to settings and go to blurry badge, here you will have border size. So you can choose if you want, want to have a border or not, and then you can choose the size. Then you have the border color right here, and then you can change the tint alpha of the badge with this slider right here. Bounce Notify 8. This tweak will add this nice bouncing animation to the icons that have petting notifications, but it will only do that to the icons that you have on your dock, not the other icons. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak and enable button right there, you can set here the bounce interval and also you can set the height right here. Dark messages. This tweak allows you to customize the look of the iMessage app. So you can see right here, it will add this dark theme but if you go to the settings of this tweak, he will have the chance to customize the look of the bubble. So you can see right here, you have outgoing and you have here the incoming, you have SMS, iMessage right there. And you can go here and pick a different color for the bubbles. It's pretty awesome. So you can customize the iMessage app. And also you have here control with night shift. So you can go ahead and enable or disable it right here. Blurry launch. This is a fun tweak that will add a blur when you open an app. So you can see right here, if I open this app, it will blur the screen and then it will open the app. So a nice little fun animation right there. So let's jump to the settings of this tweak. So you have an enable button right here. Then you have different themes that you can choose here. You have blur strength. You can choose low, medium or strong. And then you have also the blur duration. So you can set it in milliseconds right here, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and one second. Charging pulse. This tweak will add that nice touch to the battery indicator on the status bar. When you're charging your device, you can see that subtle pulse. It looks pretty awesome. So that animation will stay there only while you're charging your device. Circle icons is a simple tweak for the settings app. It will change the shape of the icons on the settings app. So you can see all circles right here. They look pretty cool. Pretty nice touch to the settings app. Cuttlefish. This tweak will change the blur color when you open a 3D touch menu based on the color of that app's icon. So if I open the 3D touch menu of the app store right here, you can see this is all blue. I can go to messages and 3D touch and you can see it will be green. Or if I go to news, you can see red there on the background. So a pretty cool tweak. It doesn't have any settings to configure. Dock Alpha. This is a tweak that allows you to change the blur amount of the background of the dock right here. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you will have this slider, which you can use to set different amounts of blur for the background of the dock and then just respring your device and the changes will take effect. Safari full screen scrolling. This is a must have tweak for the Safari app. So you can see right here, the top and the bottom banners right there. So when I swipe on the page like this, you can see it will completely remove them and Safari will go on a full screen mode as easy as that. You can see it's pretty awesome when you're reading something, you just swipe like this, it removes all this stuff from the screen and you will have a full screen mode here in Safari, which looks really, really nice. Tap tap flip. This is a pretty cool tweak for the camera app. What it allows you to do is only double tap on the screen right here and it will switch the camera from the front facing camera to the rear camera and vice versa. So you only all you have to do is just double tap here on the screen under settings. All you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable the tweak. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. Hopefully you can help me with that. And also I will be releasing a ton of new videos. I have one very important coming out later today. So stay tuned for that. So go ahead, subscribe. As I said, ton of tweak themes and everything else videos are coming your way. I hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. Go ahead, jailbreak your devices, install the tweaks, have fun and just protect your jailbreak. Don't install shady tweaks 
from unknown sources protect your jailbreak because we are getting them very very rarely these past few years so go ahead enjoy your jailbreak i hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks as well and i see you guys on the next video